In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this daily sales report. This report can be sent every day to the management team. It contains year to date sales, quarter to date, month to date, week to date, and your sales for today. Each of them also compares to the previous metric. This is how you build it. I'm using Superstore sales here, but I've created a calculation to offset the dates to make it look like the date is from today. That calculation that I created is called date. Basically what this calculation is doing, it's looking at the maximum date in Superstore and then comparing that to today. It then adds that number of days to every record in the data set. First calculation we need to build is year to date. Create a new calculated field. Call this one year to date. Our formula is year of our date field is equal to the year of today. We then wanna wrap that whole thing in the integer function and then multiply it by sales. Click on OK. Let's see what this is doing along the way. Right click and drag date to the rows and pick date discrete. Click on OK. Let's drag sales onto the table and year to date onto the table. If we scroll down, we'll see we only see sales in the year to date column for 2023. Now let's create our quarter to date calculation. Create a new calculated field. Call this one quarter to date. This is gonna be slightly different than the year to date calculation. This time, we want to use the date trunk function. We want to look at the quarter level, use the date field, and we want to say, is that equal to the date trunk at the quarter level of today? Wrap that whole thing in an integer, and then multiply it by sales. Click on OK. Let's drag that onto the measure value shelf. And if we scroll down, you see we only have sales for our current quarter. Perfect. Let's duplicate that calculation. Edit the copy and rename it month to date. The only thing we need to change is to change quarter to month in both places. Click on OK and drag month to date to the measure value shelf. If we scroll down some more, you'll see I only see sales for August. The day I'm recording this is August 8th. Duplicate our month to date calculation. Edit the copy and we want to call this one week to date. Again, all we change is the date part that we're using. It's going to be week in each of the functions. Click on OK. If we drag week to date to the measure value shelf, we only have value for the last two days. Perfect. Now we want to get the sales for today. Create a new calculated field. Call this one today. This is very simple. We want to check that the date field is equal to today. Wrap that whole thing in the integer function and multiply it by sales. Click on OK. Drag that field onto measure values, and now we see the sales for today. Let's build those as big numbers in a single sheet. Create a new sheet. Drag year to date onto the text shelf. Drag quarter to date on top of the numbers in the table. Now we have our measure value shelf, and we can drag the rest of the fields there. But first, I want to drag quarter to date below year to date. Drag month to date below quarter to date, week to date below month to date, and today below week to date. Move measure names to the columns. Drag measure names to the text shelf. Now we want to do a bit of formatting on these numbers. Click on the text shelf and then the three dots. We want to move measure names after measure values. Click on measure values and make it whatever size you want. Same thing with measure names. Click on OK. In the alignment, set it to center horizontal and center vertical. Now we can right click on measure names in the columns and hide those headers. Great, first step done. Rename the sheet, big numbers. What we want to build next is these little charts at the bottom. The bar shows our current progress and the reference line shows our comparison. Go to a new sheet and let's drag year to date to the columns. Now we need to get the sales for the previous year. Right click on year to date and choose duplicate. Right click on the copy and choose edit. Let's call this one last year. The only thing we need to do is subtract one from the year of today. Click on OK. Drag last year to the detail shelf. Now, we put that on the detail shelf so it's available to use as a reference line. Right click on the axis, add reference line. Instead of sum of year to date as the value, we want to use the sum of last year. I'm going to set my label to the value. I'm going to leave it as a line, but increase my opacity to 100%. Untick the recalculate option. Click on OK. We're going to do all of our formatting in this one sheet and then duplicate it for the rest of the sheets. Right click on the axis, and uncheck show header. Right click in the view and choose format. Go to the lines option, turn the grid lines on and back off. Turn the zero lines off 
and turn the axis rulers off. I'm going to make my bars black. I'm also going to make them a bit thinner. Looking back over at the original, you see I've got a bit of padding to the left of the bar. Let's go ahead and add that. Double click in the row shelf and just put in quote quote. You'll see Tableau created a dummy header. Right click on that header and choose hide field labels for rows. Now we can go to the right hand side of that header and drag it over to size it the way we want. And now we have that nice little padding on the side. If we want to make it a bit taller, just drag the view down. Right click on the field in the row shelf and uncheck include in tooltip. Now when you hover over, you can see your year to date and your last year. Great. Let's rename this sheet year to date. From here, it's just really rinse and repeat for the rest of the metrics. Right click on year to date and choose duplicate. In the data pane, right click on quarter to date and choose duplicate. Edit the copy. Let's rename this one last quarter. This is going to be a bit different than the calculation we did for the year. Because we're using the date trunk function, we can't just say minus one. The first thing I'm going to do is give myself a bit of room for my calculation. I want to subtract one quarter from the quarter of today. To do that, I'm going to use the date add function. Choose date add. The date part we want to use is quarter. We want to subtract one quarter and then comma the date trunk function we had there before. Add another bracket to wrap off the date add. Click on OK. Let's call this sheet quarter to date. Now that we have all the formatting done already, we just need to replace the fields. Drag quarter to date on top of sum of year to date. Drag last quarter on top of last year. Right click on the axis and uncheck show header. Duplicate that sheet. Now we're going to do month to date. So rename the sheet. Right click on your last quarter calculation and choose duplicate. Right click on that copy and choose edit. We're going to call this one last month. All we need to do here is to change the date part. I'm going to change quarter to month. I'm going to do that in all three places. Click on OK. Drag last month on top of last quarter. Drag month to date on top of quarter to date. Right click on the axis and uncheck show header. Duplicate that sheet. Rename the next one as week to date. Duplicate the last month calculation. Edit the copy. Rename this one last week. All we need to change is the date part from month to week. Click on OK. And we're going to swap out the fields again. Last week replaces last month. Week to date replaces month to date. Right click on the axis and uncheck show header. One more. Right click on week to date and choose duplicate. Because the lowest level of granularity here is the date, I can just subtract one here. So I'm going to duplicate my year to date calculation. Right click on that copy and choose edit. I'm going to call this one yesterday. I'm going to remove the year function. So it's just going to say date equals today minus one. Click on OK. Drag yesterday on top of last week, today on top of week to date. Right click on the axis and uncheck show header. Rename the sheet today. Great, all of our sheets are done. Now we need to throw this together into a dashboard. Notice that we have gray stripes for quarter to date and week to date. So let's do that first. Go back to our big number sheet, go up to format on the menu and choose shading. In the column banding, you want to increase the band size by one and set the color to be gray. Let's remove those lines while we're at it. Go to the borders option and remove the row dividers. Go to the quarter to date sheet, choose the fill option and change the worksheet background to gray. Same thing with week to date. Change the worksheet background to gray. All right, let's throw this dashboard together. Create a new dashboard. Remove the phone layout. It's always the first thing I do. Change the dashboard size to 1000 by 300. Float in a vertical container. Go to the layout tab. Set that container to start at 0 and 0 for the X and the Y. And let's make it the same size as the dashboard. So 1000 wide, 300 high. Go down to the inner padding and let's add 20 pixels of inner padding. Drag in a text object, format it the way you like, and let's call this the daily sales dashboard. Click on OK. I like the height of that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pin it. Next, we wanna drag in our big number sheet underneath of that title. Right click on the title and choose hide title. Change the fit from standard to entire view. Go to the layout tab and set the outer padding to zero. Now we wanna put in our four little bar charts. Go back over to the dashboard tab, drag in a horizontal container underneath of our big number sheet. 
drag in the year to date sheet, drag in the quarter to date sheet to the right of that, and continue with month to date, week to date, and today. Choose each of those sheets and set them to fit entire view. And then hide the title for each of those sheets as well. All right, looking pretty good. Now you see how the gray doesn't quite match up in these sheets. So on each of the bar charts, go to the layout tab and remove the outer padding. Set all of them to zero. One more sheet. And there we go. And there you have it. Your nice, beautiful, really easy to understand daily sales dashboard. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and don't forget to click on subscribe. I don't want you to miss anything that I create. And while you're at it, go to andycreeble.com and sign up for my newsletter. Every Friday, I provide tips, tricks, career advice, and much more. Thanks for watching.